coffee can be brewed, tapped like beer, or steam pressured. Every barista has their own personal technique for making the perfect brew. Some have a whole philosophy, like the head barista at this London coffee house, Anthony Khoury. He enjoys the ritual of the preparation, but also loves experimenting. I like how different each cup could be, even if you've got the same bean um, in the same cup. Uh, it can change depending on the amount of seconds you let it run for, the amount of coffee you use, the temperature it's brewed at. Uh, all of that can have a big influence on the flavour, and that's what I like. London-based photographer Horst A. Friedrichs has put together Coffee Style, a beautiful book that looks at the many facets of coffee culture. He sought out masters of the art of coffee making, people who truly celebrate the beverage. He spent two years researching and photographing the barista scene, mostly in Europe and the US. What really attracted me was the fascination these people have with making coffee, whether it was the people roasting the beans or those in the cafes. These people love the ritual, and the baristas who lovingly pour the coffee into the filters. I've always been interested in ceremonies. Horst A. Friedrichs found his favorite coffee ceremony in the Ozone Coffee Roastery in London's fashionable Shoreditch area. Here, the coffee specialties are just lightly roasted to preserve the flowery and somewhat fruity aroma of the bean. Barista Yevgenia Freimana is fixing a siphon coffee. The water is heated in an airtight chamber and the thermally induced pressure siphons it into the upper cylinder. The freshly ground coffee is stirred in and cut in the carafe below. The ritualistic aspect has made siphon coffee especially popular in Japan. I like about the siphon is actually making it because it's like a lot of fun. It's a really fun process. It's really easy to make it wrong as well, so you kind of need to concentrate. And it kind of makes you switch off a little bit, especially if it's really busy. You can just switch off and concentrate on a siphon and you can like be in your own like little siphon bubble. Horst A. Friedrich's next stop is McIntyre Coffee, known for its flat white a cappuccino with less milk and more espresso. It was created in New Zealand. Here, former art student Liam Field works with an American espresso machine. It lists for some 25,000 euros. The brewing time is kept to precisely 37 seconds. No compromises are made with the milk either. It has a high fat content of 4.7% and comes from a farm that supplies the who's who among Britain's coffee makers. It lends itself especially to the barista's works of coffee art. If you've had a bad day and go to a cafe, the barista can make you a flat white like this that's almost like a face. And it's smiling at you. Horst A. Friedrichs ends his cafe crawl with a visit to where his photographic journey through the world of coffee began two and a half years before, the Gentleman Baristas in Southeast London. Here, filter coffee is made with the Chemex pot. Barista Anthony Khoury swears by it. London's tap water is rather hard, meaning full of calcium, so he uses only soft spring water. That brings out the full flavor of the bean. First, the filter is slightly dampened. He then scoops in some Ethiopian espresso. As with the siphon technique, working with a Chemex takes time. You end up with a very clean, honest cup of coffee. It's how coffee should taste. Um, you know, full of fruit, full of flavours, uh, sweet, bitter, um, acidity, all, all in one. Horst A. Friedrichs photographed and sipped his way through the world of coffee. He met baristas who aspire to create a new taste with every cup, while knowing there's no such thing as the perfect cup of coffee. But he got close. Also, ich hab I drank one of my best coffees somewhere in Africa or Venezuela in the desert with people who made it with lots of love over a fire. It has to be a good coffee. It can't be a coffee pump from a machine without any special attention, like at McDonald's. Oh, that's just dreadful. 
Coffee has centuries of tradition behind it, and always in fashion, it is constantly being reinvented. 